Alrighty then. What's up, dude? It's your boy Happy Chap here. Welcome back to another episode. Now, look at on this one, we are going to be building a simple and pretty efficient creeper farm. Now, this is pretty similar to the other mob farm slash creeper farm that we did just build a couple of weeks ago, but we do have some efficiency upgrades and as well as it is a little bit bigger now. So let's uh let's get into it here. So now the items that you're going to need for this build are pretty straightforward. You're going to need four stacks of builder blocks, just about two stacks of trap doors, 12 carpets, two water buckets, a bucket of lava, 12 pieces of glass, two hoppers, two chests, and four signs as well as two cats that you will need for this build and these can just be regular pet cats you don't have to name tag them or anything like that just make sure you feed them some salmon and get them to sit okay so the first thing you're going to want to do for this build is just dig yourself a three by two area like this in the ground in order for you to get started and then we're going to build two two by two pillars like this on the side and each of those are going to be two blocks high Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to come to the corner of these pillars here and we're going to build out two blocks on each side. Okay, so that should be a seven gap here in the middle. Okay, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to step out one more time and we're going to come back four, well, five blocks anyways. We'll do the same thing for this side. Okay, and then you're going to connect these two back corners up. And this is what it should look like. Now what you're going to do is you're going to repeat this um, pattern here on the other side so you want to come to this and just from the corner go one two and then out again and one two three four and five make sure you come across next what you're going to do is you're going to give this whole thing a second layer okay and once you have your second layer on this is what everything here should look like and now what you're going to do is you're going to come to the inside here and you're going to find the center block on this back wall Okay, so on this back wall here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place a trap door on the bottom half of the upper block there. Okay, you can do the same thing for the other side here. Okay, so that is on the, like I said, bottom half of the upper block. And then what we are going to do is basically just encase this whole upper half layer here in trap doors. Okay, this is what everything should look like here. You shouldn't be able to put a trap door obviously above this one because it is on that block there. I'm kind of blocking the way, but this is also where we are going to put our cat. But first, let's repeat this step on this side here. Okay, once you are done, this is what everything here should look like. Okay, so you should have your two high walls with your trap doors on the top half of those two high walls. And then this singular one on the end here, okay, on the lower half of the upper top wall okay and that is for where you are going to put your cat which we will do now so all you have to do is just get a leash and then a cat and put him in place here and make him sit okay now the reason why you want to make sure that your cats are sitting or so that way you know right away they can't jump out of here and as well as when you do you know leave the area here your cats will not spawn or follow you or teleport to you. Next, all we have to do is just put a layer on this thing here in order to keep the light level down. So put a roof over top of every single one of these uh, trap doors here. Okay, and once you are done, this is what your farm should look like. Okay, next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna break into here so that way we can access the inside here. Okay, and what we're going to do is we are going to place a carpet right here underneath the cat then we're going to come over two blocks place another carpet same thing and then come down two blocks come over two and then you are done repeat that step there for the other side here so one okay and once you have that step repeated you should be good to go next what we're going to do is we're going to come to the center here and we're going to place down three trap doors on either side of these or this pit here anyways and we're going to close them all down ignore those lights for now i just put them there in order to light the area up and to stop spawns but next what we're going to do is we're going to come into the pit here and what you're going to do is you're going to dig this down three more blocks okay like this actually let's do it four blocks just to play it safe and then what we're going to do is we're going to dig forward on the two wide section here about eight or nine blocks okay and this is where we are going to put our water but since water only travels eight blocks in total what we're going to do is we're going to count out one two three and right here on the eighth block what we're going to do is we're going to 
you know, carve that out and step it down one more. So that way when we do place our water in here, okay, it flows downhill and heads out that direction. Now all you have to do is just continue to dig this one out until you reach your, you know, the limit here for the water and you should be good. Okay, so right there, as you can see, we're going to dig this all out and put a light source in here so that way we can see. Okay, but once you get to the end of the water here, what you're going to do is you're going to dig it down two blocks like that and then over one. You know, make yourself a nice little room here to work from if you would like. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come to the side here. You're going to place down your two chests with your hoppers running into that chest. Then you want to step back into the inside here and you're going to place down some glass. Okay, you can do it too high if you would like. And then right here, okay, on each side of the hopper, you're going to place down a sign just like that. Then one block up and one block in front, you're going to place another two signs. And then this is where you are going to place your lava. Okay, next all you have to do is just put a roof above your lava like this and you are done. Okay, and what that roof does is it prevents the creepers from swimming up and doing something like this. So if you just put the roof there like that, when the creepers do slide down here, all they're going to do is come into this little section here, get burnt up, and then their items will drop down and into the chest. Okay, next all we have to do is just remove these light sources here build our walls back up okay and what we're going to do is we're going to find out where our little area is here which is right here and basically what we're going to do is we're going to fill this all with glass and that is so that we can kind of see the mobs as they come down here okay the reason why we did the step down and brought it this far away from the mob farm obviously is so that way you know the lava because it creates a light source it's going to ensure that we do get a light level of zero in here. So as you can see, even with the lava down there, right here on this corner block, we are at a light level three. So that is why we push that down, you know, one step and then eight blocks further. Next, all you have to do is just go up a hundred and whatever it is, 20 blocks from the chest. So if we dig down here, okay, our chest right now is sitting on 58. So if we go up to 178, we should see this farm start to work. Okay, so here we are at 179, 178 right there. And if we just turn all of this off, as you can see, we already have creepers spawning in and we are good to go. Now, somebody on one of my other videos was saying that this farm isn't really that efficient. Now, I understand that it is a little bit slow because we are just doing one layer of, you know, spawning blocks here. But as you can see with me just talking, you know, there's 8, 9, 10, 11... So there's 11 or 12 creepers right there in just a matter of a couple of seconds. So efficient, non-efficient, that's pretty subjective, I would say. Next, all you have to do is just do a little AFK section and see how much you get and you are good to go. Okay, so what I did for you here was I built the same farm that I did over there, but I built it here in order to do a test. So here we have, this is actually one block smaller then the other farm over there as well too okay so there is like 10 or 12 less spawning platforms or spawning blocks inside this farm here than the other one but nonetheless it is the same idea of farm anyways so what i've done here is i've done you know the single layer so two and then a double layer which makes four a triple layer which makes six a quadruple layer which makes eight and then i did this sucker here okay ignore all of the design stuff around it this is for a future project that i'm doing on one of my worlds okay but this one here is i think this one is 12 high okay but we're going to go up here to 180 do a little afk session and see what we get out of the farms or the difference anyways okay so here we are at 180 we are approximately 121 blocks above all of the farms here as you can see the ones with the triple and quadruple have already started the 12 one is raining in creepers and the single one here is slowly 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 pulling in some things but what we are going to do is we're going to leave a little afk session here and see what we get after a few hours okay so what's up doers it's the next morning here 
Okay, I did leave this thing running all night long, basically. I did light up as much of the area as possible too, as well, in order to stop the spawns on the surface from happening, so that way we can get as many mobs as possible, even at night time. But uh, yeah, let's switch her over to day here and go down and check our chest. Okay, so we are gonna start down here at the single level one and see what we get. So if we go down here, now I have connected tunnels up to all of these ones too as well so that way we can easily see what we get and uh, yeah now keep in mind this is a seven hour session okay seven and a half seven eight hour session whatever it's just basically me going to bed and waking up in the morning okay and after you know a full night on the single one here what we get is you know not very good but that's a decent amount of gunpowder anyways especially for a pretty simple pretty simple farm that only involves four stacks of blocks Okay, the second one here, remember this one is the quadruple one, so one, two, three, four stacked on top of each other. And what we have here is, oh, we got a chest and a quarter filled, basically. So, that's actually not too bad either. That's actually really good for something that is as small and compact as that. Okay, if we check the third one here, this is the one that has six of them stacked on top of each other. We have one, two, so we have two full double chests plus a little bit as well too, so not too bad. And then we've got the big one here, so this one is the eight stacked one, let's see what we got out of this. So one, two, and nearly three double chests full of gunpowder. Okay, so that is the two, four, six, and eight stacked one, and now let's go and check the big ones here. So this is the one that has 12 of them in it. Okay, it is stacked very, very, very high. I did one, two, three, four, and nearly, <laughs> we've got four. And then the fifth chest here has a little bit extra in it too as well. So, uh, you know, you guys make the decision. Which one's the best one to build? Would you do, you know, obviously the single one is something that you can use to get started. If you're just gonna go AFK and all you need is a few stacks of gunpowder, you know, this is definitely the best one to build. If you wanna step it up a little bit and start to actually produce gunpowder for some, you know, emerald results or something on a server, you know, you can definitely start to stack this sucker up. But as I was saying, okay, so this one here is only four blocks from the kitty cat. Whereas this one here is five blocks. So that farm there compared to this one here, which is the earlier rendition of the, you know, mob farm that we created, there is over 20 plus more spawning blocks for the, you know, creepers to spawn on. But we also have a few extra things of carpet, but still, even if you, you know, overweigh the carpet, we still end up with like 19 or 18 extra spawn blocks in that design that we just did over there versus the old mob farm that we did. So that is basically it, you guys. That is the farm right there. You know, it is stackable. It is, you know, angleable. You can put it on any direction you want. You can put it any way you want. So as you can see, those ones there are facing that direction. This one here is facing this direction. So as you see by this thing here that I'm designing for one of my worlds, you can decorate this, you know, however you want basically. Put some fancy patterns and designs around the whole thing if you would like. But that is it right there, you guys. That is the gunpowder farm set up and ready to go for you guys. It's a very, very easy, very efficient, very simple build for you to get done. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you again so much for watching my videos. And I'll, uh, I'll definitely catch you on the next video, boys. Peace.